The word for the second Sunday of Lent is listen. A voice was heard, the Father's voice, and the voice said, This is my beloved Son, listen to Him. When a Jew prays, he begins by saying, Listen, Israel. Listen, listening is a very important act of worship. We would not be able to worship God properly if we did not know how to listen. Why is listening important? Number one, because we receive faith by listening. Faith is proclaimed and faith is received by those who listen. Sometimes faith is proclaimed by words, but oftentimes faith is proclaimed by the example of Christians. So people listen. People listen more to actions. People listen more to lives. People listen more to example than to words. Faith is transmitted by proclamation. And faith is nourished by listening. Second, the best expression of love is by listening. People who love listen all the time. If you draw yourself on a cup and bond, you will draw a head and ears and nose and eyes and mouth. This is an ear and this is an ear. If you remove this and put them together, you form a heart. The two ears put together form a heart because those who love always listen. Listening is an expression of love. And those who listen less and talk too much maybe are loving less also. Third, listening is also our hope because listening is the prelude to dialogue. There is war in many parts of the world. There are conflicts. There are civil suits in courts. And people are fighting. And how do you pursue peace? Pope Paul VI, repeated by St. John Paul II, said, The new name of peace is dialogue. And today I say, The new name of peace is listening. The new name of peace is listening. And people who listen will be able to dialogue. And people who dialogue will be able to achieve peace. So three reasons why listening is important. Number one, listening is the proof of love. Number two, faith is nurtured by listening. And number three, the hope of the world without war or conflict is listening, listening as a prelude to dialogue. But then you're going to ask, bakit ang hirap makinig? Why is it so difficult to listen? We hear, but we do not understand. We hear, but we do not listen. Why? I have only one word to explain it. Obsession. Obsession with yourself that you cannot care for others anymore. Second obsession, obsession with action. We want action all the time. Action agad. Speed is important because time is gold. Obsession also with time. I am busy. And because I am busy, I am in a hurry. And because I am in a hurry, I look at my time. I cannot listen anymore. Remember the word, obsession. If you are too obsessed with yourself, you will not care for others. And if you do not care for others, why should I listen? If you are so obsessed with action, you will just move for more action and more action. And you will not listen because 
Your hero is speed. You want speed. You want it fast. You want it quickie. And you don't like any delay. Time is gold. And therefore, if time is gold, listening is a waste of time. Because listening takes time. But my dear brothers and sisters, not everything can be equated with gold. Because the time that we spend with one another listening is beyond silver or gold or diamond. Obsession with yourself, you do not know the word you. Obsession with action, you cannot stop. Obsession with time, because time is gold and you glorify speed. But then, brothers and sisters, haste makes waste. Ang pagtakbo ng matulin, nakakatinik ng malalim. This Lenten season, today, the second Sunday of Lent, listen. Listen to show your love. Listen to increase your faith. Listen to promote peace for the hope of the world. Listen respectful of you. Listen ready to waste time. Listen ready to lay down your dreams, your opinions, so that we may see in one another the face of God. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.